Hey folks, welcome back for more Let's Play Back to the Future, the game. The story so far. Still searching for a means to gain an audience with Citizen Brown, Marty has been confronted with the consequences of his and Doc's actions in 1931. His girlfriend is a punk rock rebel, his parents have lapped back into their original selves and then some, and Biff has been brainwashed into the nicest guy in the world. After confronting Lorraine about her drinking, <clears throat> Marty managed to get a hold of her secret flask. When confronted by Officer Parker, Marty's illegal contraband earned him a heap of demerits. The Weinstein, the original by Marty's perspective, disappeared with Doc during the time jump. Marty has discovered an alternate version. This Doppel Einstein is a scruffy backstreet scray with a serious bone to pick with Edna Strickland Brown. Marty managed to befriend this new Einstein, but was swiftly caught by the authorities for harboring a dangerous animal. Ah, Hobo Einstein is just misunderstood. Marty, fully intent on seeing his plan through, looks to find looks to find finding? Really? Another rule to break. Look out, Hill Valley. Martin Seamus McFly is on the loose. And indeed, yes, that is where we begin. Um, we're looking for that last rule to break, and the last rule that we've heard mentioned is the public display of affection rule. Unfortunately, the only girl willing to, you know, or the only girl he may be interested in uh, breaking that rule with is Jennifer. McFly, you're a real buzzkill, you know that? You better treat Jen with respect, Leech. Hey, and hey. we've heard all that before. Now. That dork that... Let's get out of See here. Ya. Smell you later. Unfortunately, she is the only girl for him, as far as he's concerned, but she wants nothing to do with him. We have to find a way to change her mind. So let's talk to her. Yeah? Leech is a wasteoid. Come on, Jen. It's you and me. Dream on, McFly. We might have had a thing for about ten minutes, but you're not even in the same league as Leech. Hmm. You and Leech, Jennifer? Hey, don't badmouth Leech. There's a lot more to him than soup, you know. Like what? For one thing, he wields an axe like nobody's business. An axe, huh? So you got yourself a new guitar player. What can I say? I'm a girl who appreciates a hot lick. Yeah, I remember. Not touching Come on, it. Jennifer, nobody in town plays guitar like me. I'm talking electric guitar, Martin. I'm gonna be honest, the ukulele has to go. I can outplay your loser boyfriend any day of the week. You're that desperate to get to first base. Did you say first or fourth? I'd give you two and a half. But first you gotta Ooh. prove you've got better fingers than Leech. You ready to throw down? I was born ready. You got a guitar? Never leave home without it. Hold on. You can knock on my door anytime. Hold it, we got company. McFly, what's that was doing here? He says he can outplay you. I told him, there's no one in Hill Valley better than you. You wanna go prove it? The Ring of Rock? <laughs> Don't crush him hmm. too bad. Just teach him a lesson. Now, we've got to beat him in a duel. So let's let's do the yeah. We got to sit there and play, so we'll flourish, and he will copy exactly what we do. Then he will do something, and we immediately copy it. We have several moves we can do. We can move towards our amp, we can climb on the platform, we can scissor kick like that. And we're going to lose this round on purpose. And no matter what we do here, we will lose now. You cut my cord, you asshole! 
Somebody should have cut it a long time ago, McFly. The winner and undefeated champion of Hill Valley. Claim your prize, champ. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Well, back to work. See you, loser. I can't believe you'd let him get away with that. He totally broke the rules. There are no rules in Rock and Roll, Martin. That's why a guy like you shouldn't compete. In a sense, yeah. Okay. Now that we know that he will copy our moves pretty precisely, there are a few things we need to take note of around this stage. One, if we climb a platform over here, we would climb up to this dumpster. Which would make him climb up here on top of this little flimsy board with just a stack of little uh, soy mud buckets under it. I could have shown that off, I guess. and You'll see it in a second. But what we need to do is basically play a semi-dirty trick on him to get him to lose. And even yeah. though this isn't 100%, so... I want a rematch. Ooh, you got nerve, McFly. You really want to be humiliated like that again? It's nothing but a poser. I, I got the technique. Do you now? Want a sample? Maybe. If you can beat Leech. I already swatted you once, McFly. Shouldn't you be lying in the gutter? I was, but then your mom threw me out. Oh, snap! <laughs> Try not to leave any scars, baby. So, first thing we need to do is scissor kick. Yes, it knocks over our amp, but when he does it, it knocks over his. And he's gonna make a little duck walk. We get near Jennifer. Oh, let's climb platform. And see if we can get him to stay up there, because he doesn't always stick around. Okay, there we go. And now that he has no support under him, we need to hop. Huh? Right in the dumpster. Martin McFly, that was, that was, that was totally awesome. What can I say? Some guys got it and <laughs> some guys don't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you broke my head, Stock. I think I've got a new idol. Come here. Wait, I got a better idea. What was it you called me? A square? A girl's entitled to make a mistake, isn't she? Oh. And just in time for the kiss, oh. look who's coming up. Oh. You want service? Oh. Hooliganism! Delinquency! Officer Parker! I just caught these two degenerates violating statute number... Jennifer! Daddy! 476D! Open mouths? Uh, tongues! You've gone too far, Jennifer. What's the big deal? It's only hormones. Stop! We don't use words like that in this town. But what? I'll deal with you later, young lady. We're gonna have to have a long talk about the Citizen Plus program. What? Oh, come on! Officer, give Mr. McFly a 476 D's worth of demerits. I'll tend to your wayward yes, daughter. Yes, ma'am. And this is for getting my daughter in trouble with Citizen Edna. Now keep out of trouble, or Citizen Brown will come down on you like a brick wall. That's the plan. McFly! Who, who was driving that cart? Hey, Jennifer. Are you still angry with me? Angry? Nah. The threat of being Citizen Plus was worth it just to see my dad's veins go all purple like that. Great, because I gotta go. Jeez, Martin, what's gotten into you? Booze? Dogs? Necking in public? It's like you're a different guy today. A way cooler guy. I know this is gonna be <laughs> hard to believe, but I'm the same guy I've always been. It's everyone else who's messed up. And stop calling me Martin. It's Marty. Well, Marty. What's next on the agenda? Knocking over banks? Maybe. What's a guy got to do to get in trouble around here? 
Uh, I think you're about to find out. You, citizen. Get out of here, Jen. Not a problem. Are you Martin Seamus McFly? Yes. We have a warrant for your detention. Detention? You've accrued over 15,000 demerits in the past 24 hours. Cool. Is it? Young Mr. McFly is being branded as a criminal of weak moral character. Cool. I'm not weak. But you are in a heap of trouble. Trouble? Oh my, yes. But don't worry, we're here to take care of you. Like your Citizen Plus program took care of Biff? Perhaps? The program is in need of new volunteers. But let's Beep not get ahead of ourselves. First, let's see what Citizen Brown has to say about your particular strain of antisocial behavior. You're taking me to Citizen Brown? Immediately. Officers, away with him. Yes, yes ma'am. Ma well, we got what we it's wanted. Time. Hooray, I, I guess. I always knew your goody two shoes A plus student act was too good to be true. Yeah, this will run just a little long, I think. I can't save until it gets past a little bit here. So we deal with a long video. Probably. Come in, citizen. Martin McFly, age 18, resident of Sector L. Father George, Mother Lorraine, President of the Junior Brown Brigade, recipient of a full ride scholarship to Strickland College, American Gothic, winner of the Courthouse Challenge Department Award, kind of zero demerits until this morning. The obvious question, Mr. McFly, is what happened to you? It's good to see him, isn't it? Jesus Christ, Doc, what happened to you? Doc. Interesting. You regard me as a doctor, indicating awareness that you're suffering from some variety of mental disorder. That's a hopeful sign, Martin. Of course, I'm not actually a doctor, but I do have the tools to turn you around and put you back on the road to societal normalization. Shall we begin with a few questions to establish a baseline? And we kind of have to. Whatever. Let's get through this nonsense so I can set you straight. You'll set me straight? Explain. This whole crazy world you've created, it's totally mental. There's all these stupid rules and everybody's acting all weird. My dad's turned into this creepy snoop. Mom's completely pathetic. And Jennifer's kind of scary. And Biff, it's like he's a zombie or something. And it's all basically your fault. So you believe this interview is really more about me than you? Yes. You went to all this trouble just to deliver a message to me in person? Yes! A cry for help, as it were. Yes! No, wait. Tell me, Martin. Is your mother on the sauce again? Not where I come from. When I left here, both my parents were happy and well-adjusted. Okay, they didn't start out that way, but that's where your time machine comes in. Time machine? Yeah, Doc, listen to me. You don't remember it, but you built a time machine out of a DeLorean. Why? Well, just for the hell of it, I, I guess. Plus, the steel frame of the DeLorean dispersal, I don't know. It was important <laughs> for some reason. Fascinating. Yes, yes, it is fascinating. It's, it's amazing. It's incredible. But you don't know it because you've never invented it. You're not the real Doc Brown. You gotta believe me. And this is because... Everything got screwed up when I went back in time to 1931. Sounds like this time machine is a very impractical and dangerous invention. I'm gonna agree, Yes, but... I, I mean, no. What I mean is it's messed up a lot of things, but first, it made a lot of things better. Uh, like my mom and my dad. It was only thanks to your time machine that they ever became successful and happy. So they're happy. But they're not, because you summoned me back in time, and somehow your timeline got messed up, and everybody else is along with it. I see. No, you don't. Think. Think back. Don't you remember me? We knew each other. When you were 18. I'm Harry Callahan. Incredible. 
This case is more serious than I'd imagine. The boy has fabricated an alternate reality. No, this is the alternate reality. My reality is the real reality. Calm down, Martin. I'm not blaming you for anything. The failure is ours, not yours. Obviously, there was a drastic flaw in your social conditioning. Yeah, you don't understand. No, I don't understand yet, but I want to. I want to get at the root of your problem. Keep talking. Um... Take your time. Look around the room. Perhaps something here will stimulate your ma your memory. Hmm. So a little bit of the old doc that we remember from the other timeline is still present. Almost said, stimulate your imagination and not just your memory. Well, this seems like an excellent point to cut the video and it didn't run nearly as long as I thought it would. So, next time, talking to him and seeing if we can get him on our side. Until then, take care folks. See you later.